Welcome back to 3G Video. Today I have an exciting video over an interview that I got to do with Larry Chen. He is a automotive photographer that is very well known. You probably know about him. You saw, probably saw him in the uh, thumbnail and everything. That's why you're here. Uh, he's been a huge inspiration to me, uh, especially into starting my business, uh, 3G Video. Go check it out at 3GVideo.net. Shameless plug. Anyway, Let's go ahead and get started with the interview and some of his thoughts on today's car culture and the photography side of that. If you are not easy to work with, if you're not personable, if you're not friendly, I feel like the industry weeds these sort of people out. You know, and we're all here for one reason. We're all here because we love cars. You know, we're not here because we hate cars. And it's very refreshing to be able to meet new people every day who are just as passionate. Yeah, and I think that's really the best way to build good relationships. The, the best way to get into it is to at least see in your immediate vicinity what sort of events are popular and potentially making some sort of relationship with the organizers or some race team or um, some local newspaper or outlet. There's always a way to get in and have that angle. Or you could just go as a fan. There's so much to be said about going to an event with the mindset of content creation, right? So you go there and if you have a plan to what you want to do, if you want to just shoot it for social, if you want to shoot it for some long-term project, it's just so much about just doing it. You know, that's the hardest part is just taking that first step and actually doing it. One, one piece of advice that I can give is uh, don't focus too much on equipment. It's better to use that money to get you to the cool action and get you more time on the ground, more hotel room days or further travel. I think it's more important to actually get pictures versus spending the money on gear that won't be used, if that makes sense. I pushed super hard in any way possible to save up my money to travel, to do photography, to shoot the events that I wanted to shoot. And it came down to basically doing odd jobs, doing anything I needed to do, fixed computers. I uh, was in the food industry. I just did anything and everything that I could do I guess just surrounding uh, car culture, surrounding computers, whatever I could do to at least, I, I even helped trailer some of the race cars to these events uh, because that was the only way I could get there. You know, um, I did whatever I could just to at least have a chance to take the pictures. Um, yeah, that's. That's the hardest part, right? There, there's a transition period where you're not making any money, but you still want to shoot these events. You can do it at your own scale. You know, you don't have to be as crazy as I was in terms of moving cars across country. Um, you can start at the local level. I think, I think action photography is definitely my favorite kind of photography related to cars. But there is beauty and there is uh, interesting aspects in all sorts of car photography, right? There's light painting, there's you know show cars, static stuff, detail things, um, car shows. There's so many things, but of course, racing is my true passion. I just love really showing the beauty of it and showing the destruction and telling the stories of race cars. I'm not exactly sure if my favorite picture would exist or it, I feel like it keeps changing. 
every year. And I think that's the fun part about photography, right? Because it, it is subjective and my perception of what I like changes because just a couple years ago, my favorite picture was potentially one that I pushed super hard to get, but maybe it's not technically good. And then maybe a couple years later, I was able to get something that's technically good and it's super hard to get. But who knows, maybe the subject matter is not as good. I think so much of it is just depending on what I'm feeling at the time. I think driving for me is my like true passion. It's my love and it's, it's just so fun to do. But um, I know I'm not that fast, I'm not that good, but it's just basically like a personal escape. So luckily in more recent years, I'm able to use it as part of my job too. You know, I do camera car driving and the only way I can improve is if I drift and if I get behind the wheel more. And that's what I'm trying to do. Well, thank you so much for your time. Tomorrow. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. It really means a lot. And then also subscribe if you haven't already. We want to thank everybody that has subscribed here in the last couple weeks. It has been a tremendous help and you guys are awesome. Have a blessed day and we'll talk to you guys next time.